Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today me and my son little Jaden here. So hi Jaden. Hi Jaden. <laughs> We're heading out chasing some coal trout, some snapper, anything out here in the little dampier sound. I'll try and show you the through a couple of little tricks and tips, um, how I find the ground. Like at the moment I'm just sounding around with my side scan, trying to find any little shelf, um, any little ledge that's gonna hide these trout. They are a territorial fish and they like to hide in holes. Um, so we're gonna do that for a bit, see what we can find, and then hopefully get Jaden onto a couple of trout, snapper, see how easy it is. Stick around, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, chuck in a like, throw in a comment what you like about the video, what you wanna see next, and see what we can catch. Even my impatient son isn't immune from me going around finding ground. We spent the last probably 40 minutes just sounding around. And I've just come across, it's doing about 20 knots and I went across that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple laps around it with the side scan without him blowing a whistle at me. Just gonna hurry me up. See if we can find a ledge. If there's a ledge there, we'll fish it. If there's no ledge there, I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll just be a little snapper and stuff like that. So, Let's see what we can find. All right, we've got a nice little spot here. It rises up with a little ledge. You can see there's fish stacked up on here. We are on. Look at them all coming through. No. Young fella's gonna get bent. What do you reckon, Jaden? Yes. Sick? You. Running through the rig that we use it for them. Super simple when you're fishing here in the um, inshore stuff. So all it is, it's just a running sinker rig. So you've got a 5060 um, octopus, beak, whatever you call them, octopus hook. BKK, Shinto Pros, anything like that. Um, just a number five bean sinker. I run the bean sinker straight to the hook. So if you get a uh, snag, what you can do is just bounce on the rod tip and that hook should bounce it off the bottom. Uh, 80 pound leader to a three-way crane. I like to use the cranes because they're a lot stronger, smaller profile, and they seem to twist a lot easier. And then make sure you're running some wind on leader. So, I like to use probably two meters, three meters with the kids because they're not the, the quickest with the strikes, but anything like that is going to work. Let's get some bait down there and see if we can get the young fella some fish. Yo! All right. Real stinky bait because I left it out one time, but um, normally I try to have the fresh stuff. Easy, yeah, it's just like that. Nice and streamlined so a trout can come through and just going to swallow it nice and easy. Trying to stink like that. Now, young fella's in his little fighting chair, ready to go. Good are you, Jaden? Yeah. All right. Got nibbles, I think something's on it. All right, Jaden, there you go. You got a big fish, mate. One minute. Oh my God, you got a big fish, Jaden. You got a big fish. I think you got a trout. Straight up, first fish. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh. oh, you got a big one, buddy. Straight away. He's trying to get you in that rock. Let's get him out. Let's get him out. Come on. Me and you, buddy. No way, this is your fish. Come on. Oh, Jaden, this is gonna be a big fish, buddy. Let's get this one for mom. Yeah, let's get this one for mom. It's gonna be a good trout. Oh, what do we got? Uh -huh. Oh, Jaden. I think it's a colorful. Look at that, buddy. I First fish. Like get that for mom. Yes. Oh my god, look at you go, eh? Look at that for a big coral trout. That's a daddy one. That's a daddy one. High five, mate. Daddy, I got the daddy one. Let's definitely keep that one. Let's definitely keep that one. Hell yeah. 
Look at the size of that. That's the first fish, guys. Yeah, that's amazing. Just, yeah. That's the beauty of looking around, finding these spots. <laughs> Running it's sinker rig. Yeah, it does have tiny eyes, doesn't it? Look at these beautiful blue spots. What do you reckon? Yeah. Let's get it for a dinner. Yeah, that's, that's definitely dinner, that one. Look at that. Perfectly hooked in the corner of the jaw. And the, just in the lip, sorry. I like the fin. That's a good, it's a good 60s anyway, mate. Look at the size of this thing. Can you lift him up, Jaden? He's struggling. You can't? Good fish, mate. Can I get, whoa, can I get a high five? Yes. Ah! <laughs> I don't like the fish. Yeah. Bob, I like the fin. That's the first cool That's a fat boy. Yeah. That's mint. Ah, uh, first fish. See if we can get some um, snapper and stuff now. Maybe Are one more trout. Fish See how we go. For yeah, we can have fish for dinner. We can have fish for a couple of days. How good's that? What yeah. do you reckon? I want that one for dinner. You want to have that one for dinner? Yeah. I think everyone's saying that. You. Yeah. Second bait going down. Nice and the middle section of a little whiting. Oh, decent don't whiting really. I won't throw it on you, man. <laughs> don't, don't get on my head. Now while we're going at it, this is just a little Sienna 4000, an aqua tip, I think it's a five to ten or five to eight kilo rod. 30 pound braid just because you get no stretch out of it. So it's all up. It might be a hundred and twenty dollar combo, something yeah, like that. We are having Oh, we are. And it works an absolute. Oh, that was a good fish we just missed then, Jaden. Here we go. Oh, we missed him. Oh, try it again. Yeah, try it again. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, we didn't miss it. We didn't miss it, Daddy. Didn't miss that one, did we? So now you. It's going to be another trout, Jaden. You know how crazy that is? Yeah. I think it's going to be your turn now. Oh. Second I think, fish I think is another good trout. Whoa, the nutty daddy trout! Another daddy trout, yeah! Daddy, you got it good. We got two daddy trout. Two daddy trout. Look at that thing. That's another 50 centimeter, something like that trout. This is probably a female. Daddy, that well other big done, guy. Daddy. Well done, eh? Yeah, you got it. The good thing about fishing in the shallow waters, they don't blow their bags and swim back really well. Okay, let's, let's keep that one too. Oh, I don't think so. I reckon we let him go, eh? Because yeah. this is a girl. Should we let the girl go? Yeah. Yeah, we'll let the girl go. Oh, oh off you go, love. Off she goes. I think that's a mummy one. It is a mummy one. Well done. I didn't even let you have a shot then. Yeah, <laughs> two baits, two good trout. Woo! We're on a now winner. It's gonna be my turn again. Yep, we'll do your turn now, eh? Yeah. The daddy one looks more. Are you gonna sit in your chair? Are you gonna sit in your chair? In your the fighting chair, ready from, to go? Then my strong chair. It's in your strong chair, is it? Yeah. I'm gonna need it. Are you still doing the video? Yeah, we're still doing the video. There's another one on it. I nibbles. Oh. Here you go. Yours. One minute. Yep. Oh. Yep, one it. Oh. Oh. One minute, buddy. One minute. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we got him up. What have we got? Oh, we got a ranking cod. Oh, we did two things for mum. Oh, he's a little bit small. Daddy has bigger ones of these. That's a good 40 centimeter ranking cod in yeah. shallow, shallow water. Let's let, him, let's let him go. Yeah, we'll let him go, eh? Yeah, come in one bigger fish. Beautiful ranking cod. As you know, I catch a lot of these bloody things. 
Off he goes. Hi. Good thing about shallow water, they're always going to go back. Fantastic. You know, it's so good. Shall I hook him up and then you wind him in? Yeah? Okay, we are getting nibbles. Yep, we sure are. He's got it, ready? Oh, I didn't strike it hard enough. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Jason, <laughs> you got another big one. Here you go. Wind him in. Oh. Oh. Good job, buddy. Let's get this under here. There you go. Oh, what have we got, mate? I don't know. What do you got? Let's have a look see. Oh, you got a big flowery cod. Look at this guy. Oh, what is it, Daddy? It's a big flowery cod. Need a daddy one. Yeah. So cheap. No, don't don't keep these ones. Why? Because they're slimy. Dad doesn't like filleting them. <laughs> Beautiful markings on a flowery cod. Yeah, they're just a big. A super cool daddy one. It is a super cool one. They are beautiful eating. Up and down, up and down. Okay. Beautiful eating, they got nice white flesh, but I don't want a slimy cod today. See you, mate. Just Yeah. <laughs> and he even gave our bait back. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice to do. We do. How good is this? Oh, we are inside the islands here. We've got this beautiful little lump here, and it is just loaded. Every drop we're getting spanked, so loving it. The boy's having a good time, and that's how I know he's gonna love fishing, because catching fish, keeping him interested. Look at him, he's ready. You ready for the next one? <laughs> love it. Oh, this stinks so bad, Jaden. Now another big foot and another strong pop one. Want another strong pop one? Yeah. Why get the pop one? Huh? I think these pop ones are very strong. When we get the pop one, let's keep it. Okay. Oh, first is Daddy or Papa? Daddy, this one. Daddy, this one. There's also, there's also a Papa fish. Mm-hmm. And Papa. The Papa. You ready? Yeah. Nibble. 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 Yeah, right. He's on it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, got him. Oh, he dropped off. He had it. No more, no more, no more, no more. Oh, more bites and... No. Nope. I like you, Oh, jeez. Oh. Here, you ready? Yes. Another trouty, come on. Wind him in. I think this is a pop of rowdy. He pop of. Let go of that. Let go of that. There you go. All right. Good job, mate. One up. Lift up, one down. One. Lift up, one down. Good job. Oh, we got him right here. What have we got? Oh! Oh! Oh, it's another beautiful trout, Jaden. Look at that! Look, look how pretty! One. Look how pretty this one is. Whoa. He's super red. He was super strong. Super strong, so wasn't he? Is a grandma one. It's like a grandma one, is it? Yeah. Look how but pretty that thing I is. It was a stunning. All right, she's going off. Little female. So you get some breath back. Oh, 
Hey, what's going on? I don't know, mate. I shouldn't have been dead. But it wasn't dead before. No. Nah. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's died. Um, where is she? She is one, two, three, four. She's 46, so. She's 46 years old. 46 centimeters, mate. So rather than kill her, let's just keep her, eh? Let's make sure on the bunyip mat. Yep, she's definitely size. 47 or 46. Forty-six centimeters. Well, that's unfortunate. It's only sixteen meters of water, and that's why it's really important to fish sustainably. Um, she's forty-six, almost forty-seven centimeters, which is size here in WA. So I'm going to keep her, and that's mine and Jaden's two trout. So what we're going to do is we're going to pack up from here, and we're going to send it in a little bit shallower. So if we do get another trout, it means we can let it go still. Um, we've got what's that four trout now this is the first one that's died on the way up and that was Jaden winding it in so it wasn't exactly fast but you really got to look after these fish uh, it's really good fishery here as you've seen it's just gone mental so we might go that's all right mate it wasn't your fault hey and guess what, what? what it means we get to eat it which is good they're super oh, yummy So yeah, let's try not to depress him too much. Let's go find another spot, see if we can get some snapper, um, some big stripies or something like that. This wind is starting to drop out, so we might even go get a mackerel first up. You want to get a mackerel? Yeah. All right, we're going to get a mackerel. All right, so we're going to get a troll for a mackerel for a bit now. Um, it's just about to change the tide, so that it's going to be start coming an incoming tide. We're going to be pushing all this bait up on this edge that we're going to be trolling. Uh, I didn't really bring much for trolling gear. I've only got my little Saltiga 20 LD, um, a Ocean's Legacy Deep Element P5, um, and Pulu we're running an extra 20. I like the 20s because they're a little bit smaller profile. All the bait here in the archipelago seems to be quite small at the moment, so the mackerel, the tuna, they're all going to be feeding on that smaller profile. Troll it around about six or seven knots. We see a fish busting up out there, and we should be on. So. Stick around, we should have a hookup for you very shortly. Another big thing I found when trolling for mackerel here in the Pilbara is run that lure really close. Like the mackerel, if they're in a feeding frenzy, they're not going to care about the motor. They don't really care. The lures that you're using, they're diving to 20 feet normally, so if you can get them four or five meters under the water, it's stalling. Um, and then I'm only running them about 20 meters off the back. So that way, get a mackerel, I get a strike, he might run for 20 meters. I only got to pull that mackerel in 40 meters for the sharks find it. If you're running at 50, 60 meters out the back and then it runs for another 20, 30 meters, you're cooked. Sharks are going to be on you in no time. So, little trick I found. Seems to work. I'll get majority of my mackerel all our pull hooks. So, we'll see how we go. All right, I'm starting to get a lot of bait on the bottom now, which is nice. Undo that. Now we're just going to find some fish that are stacked up around them and we'll do a couple of grid patterns through them. All very exciting. And that's a lot of fish stacked up. Let's see if we can get a strike on this one. Oh, they're all pulled on that bait there. Wouldn't doubt if they're coming up, having a look, shine away. Just gonna find that one hungry fish. That's a lot of mackerel stacked up there. Look at all these bloody mackerel just 
flying at the moment. Flying. But, means I'll probably get one right now. Eating such small bait though. I don't see him eating this. That's what I want though. With snapper, I like the fish a little bit different than with the trout, so I'm looking for little rubble patches. Um, at the moment, we just came across one, and I can see there's three, four fish that's sitting just over this rubble patch, and they're solid fish. They're not like your little pickers and stuff like that, so I'm gonna set up a little drift. I'm not a drift, I'm gonna set up up current of them, and we're gonna drift back some um, little bits of mullet, bits of whiting and stuff like that, and see if we can get these guys hooked up. Yo! Jeez, Jade, you're on, buddy. Come, bud, wind him in. He's all yours. <laughs> I haven't even got to the bottom yet, and you're already on. Oh, nice one, mate. What have we got? Oh, you got another Rankin cod, mate. Oh, is this the daddy? Just a little one. Daddy. Little daddy. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, now we have to get home. Off he goes. Beautiful little fish. Now it's Whoa, Jane. Whoa. <laughs> Wanna be Jaden? Whoa! I have Whoa. a big fish! You definitely have a huge fish. Whoa, I oh, got it! I think you just got sharked, bud. Definitely just got sharked. Oh, that's crazy. You had a good fish then. Where does this go? Let it go, buddy! Uh-oh, we got a big fishy here. Hang on, I'm going to have to snap him off for a bit. <sighs> Crazy. I got a big fish. We had a big shark then. I'd like to say a big massive shout out to Aqua Sports Marine. Um, these guys have hooked me back up with my Minn Kota. She had a bit of a trouble with the trim motor and they've gone above and beyond trying to help me out. So. They're up the front here, spot locked. It just makes the biggest difference when you're out here chasing trout, all these little um, inshore species, because you want to sit right on those lumps. Spot lock is a game changer. So um, yeah, huge thank you to Aqua Sports Marine. I've, it was quite a while that I had without it, and they always kept me up to date, um, and they sorted me right out. So really appreciate it. If you guys are looking for a Minn Kota, Bar Crusher, Quintrex, Aqua Sports Marine, um, down in Perth, they are the guys to go to, without a doubt. Alright, one little move. Let's see if we can get a couple of snapper for the bag anyway. This wind is just starting to come up, a few little white caps, summertime. So... <sighs> They're onto it. Man, straight into a hole. It's not funny. Oh, that's a fish there. Re rigged. Try it again. Jaden wants to go back down again. Yep. yep. So, let's get the man on a fish. You gonna stand up? Yeah. I'm in here. Oh, Jesus, Jaden. You're gonna have to. Come on. Come on. Oh no, he dropped off, Jaden. That was massive. That was a good fish. Spewing. It was. I, I, want, I think I want to 
Come on. Come here. Oh, it's a good fish. I think it's going to be another trout, though. Come on, wind him up. Wind him up. Oh, it's a, it's a very nice trout, buddy. It's another daddy one. It is another daddy one. Oh, he got me. And you too. Beautiful size. We get another daddy. daddy, daddy we can't. Daddy. We've already got our two. Got me for you. Yeah, we're gonna put him away. Oh, up he goes. Because we've already got our two trout, that's all we're allowed. I know, right? High five, though. I'm doing another one. You gonna do it again? That was super quick, wasn't it? Yeah. I've already got a bait. Yeah. We're good to go. Ready? Ready, are you? Stand up here so it's easier for you to wind it in when you're standing. Really? Ooh. I told you that fish in this side. It certainly is. Come on, stand up real. Oh, you let it go again. Oh, he's gone again, he's gone. Wait. Oh, we're right. Oh. oh. Took our bait. I think that was a shark. You reckon? <sighs> They're a bit crazy here. Dad's going to catch one decent fish on his new rod. Catch at least one fish, hey? At least one. Oh, come on. God. I've got a snapper finally, Jaden. We got a good snapper. <laughs> Yay, we got a keeper. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Beautiful fish. Blue line emperor or sweet lip as a call them on these. Keep it. Yes, mate. Keep it. Well, sweet lip as they call them on the eastern states. Really nice one for this inshore water. It's only 10 meters of water, or 13 meters, sorry. So he is coming home because they are absolutely beautiful on the chew. You. Well, guys, that's going to wrap us up today. Me and Jaden are just about to head it back in. Wind's just starting to push up, so before it gets too windy, I'll get this young fella back in before he gets bounced around. He gets too seasick. As you can see, we caught a crap ton of trout. This time of year, summertime, the trout come inshore and it seems like they feed like crazy. So if you want to get some trout, this is the time of year to do it. Perfect in the mornings, windy in the afternoon. Go out, get yourself a couple of trout, a couple of snapper if you're lucky, and have a great time on the water. If you like this episode, please hit that subscribe button. It's really helping this channel grow. Hit that like button, chuck in a comment. Jaden caught some bloody great fish today, so he really deserves a comment from you guys. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Phew.